people talk about knocking off and chipping out all your glue and that, I just knock off the big stuff. I mean, there's big obvious blobs that are going to be running down on the low side, bottom side of the spar. And yeah, you want to take those and knock those off. But this stuff in the corners here, now this side's a little bit worse. I don't mess with that. Really, you would be, it would be difficult to add, like, like that there, I'm not going to knock any of that out. It would be difficult to add a pound of glue to the entire plane, unless you were really bad and didn't knock anything off and used an excessive amount. So here's the next step. Five inches, 315 thousandths wide. I'm gonna build up the root section here. And uh, I'm gonna just drill this hole, drill a hole through it and then just scribe a line down and cut that there angle with my uh, oscillating saw, of course. And I'll just do that while this is, I'll lay it out while it's right against the wall or against the other lumber. Just make my rectangle, measure up in the center to drill my uh, radius, and then move over a quarter inch. Those aren't quarter inches. What in the world did I draw? Hold on a second. So they're nine inches long, so I've got this baseline down here. That's the root. Set right at the nine. Move in here to a quarter of an inch. Yeah, it'd be right there. It must have gone to a half. Do the same thing on the other side. At this time, do it to a quarter of an inch, or a, a quarter of an inch instead of a, yep, half an inch there too. Get it on nine. There we go. And I'll just. Sometimes I throw a clamp on it, like right up here, at this tangent point, I'll put a clamp on it, and then just swing that and hold it in place. But, I just whip this out real quick and, uh, and then use my oscillating saw to cut it out. And I've drawn it just about dead nuts on, so I know that I want to cut to the outside edge of these. And that way I can use my belt sander, uh, or if you have a pedestal sander or something like that to get, get it flatter. Anyways, I can use that to fine tune it and get it just to fit just snugly down into, in between the uh, spar caps. Well, I sanded this one so it fits in there just snug. Notice the direction of the grain on this one. And now this one I'll go the opposite way. Now this one actually is going to be the top one. Or no. No, it's the next piece. Yeah, It goes opposite grain there. And then this will go on top of it, opposite grain. So one of the hassles is trying to get, a, get clamping evenly all across the whole thing. And I think that's a fairly decent job there.